been to a celebration since 2014 I think and this one it feels it feels different there's it's really exciting so I feel like there are a lot of conventions for sure for you know many different comic cons and things but this one is only for Star Wars and the fact that people get to come and just celebrate everything Star Wars only together I think that's really awesome to see Obi-Wan coming back I think that's pretty exciting and then I just think it's so well made Deborah did an amazing, amazing job. So she really brought the humanness out in, in everything. So I think it's going to be really exciting and a really human story. Um, it's incredibly exciting. You know, we've been working on this for a long time. And so to get to premiere it here also in person at Celebration, it's just an incredible feeling. This is my first Celebration, so I had I didn't really know exactly what to expect. So just feeling kind of just the energy and also just the love from the fans. Like it, it, I think for all of us, it's really felt like, oh, this is what we did it for. I think the biggest thing we were trying to do is just, you know, have another story with characters that they love. And so we just hope that they really, you know, feel that way, that they, they you know, get to spend some time again with those characters. The response we've had all day has been unbelievable. This lovely warmth from the fans. But, you know, there's always that. <laughs> Nervousness, you know, but let's see. I'm pretty convinced they like it. I've just never known anything like it, really. I've never had that experience of, uh, like, the panel this morning and the, the sort of energy and noise that comes at you when me and Hayden walked on there this morning was crazy, insane. And then we did a, a sort of interview out in the, con in the convention hall this afternoon on a stage with the loads of fans, and it was just insane. Lovely to see the love everyone has for Hayden and to feel it for me and it was just brilliant. I mean, you know, these stories are for the fans so to get to watch it with them uh, is, is just a real pleasure. Um, yeah, you know, it's a great event and, and just so nice to be a part of. Just getting to, to see Ewan back as Obi-Wan again is, is a big deal. Um, and it's a it's a great story. I believe there's going to be something like 8,000 people watching tonight, um, and they're going to be seeing it fresh, same as us. Nobody's seen a screening yet, so it's really exciting. And it's so great to see all our old friends again and our colleagues and stuff. Yeah, it's been like nearly a year. It's just a I don't know. It's a buzz to think we've actually completed something, and we're here to share that moment and all that hard work to see what we've knitted. I think there's a lot of really cool storylines, some very powerful women in this, which is really cool. Um, I think it's really exciting and it's all very diverse as well, which is good. It feels like it's reflecting what's going on in society at the moment. So that's good. I don't know if you saw what John Favreau said today at the beginning, but they really kept Star Wars alive during lockdown and kept everything, the response to everything we did with Disney Plus was so amazing. And seeing everybody here together, seeing all of us getting being able to talk, it's what Star Wars is all about. It's a communal experience. It's a family experience. It's for all audiences. Hopefully this show continues that. Uh, and getting to see everybody and everyone so excited and happy, it's, you know, it's why we do it. Ewan and Hayden.
you know. You can't, you can't be a Star Wars fan and I want to see that again. I mean, it's incredible. I get goosebumps seeing like the posters. I'm like, yes, let's go. So I'm excited. For, you know, that whole thing is really exciting. But also the new characters, the new energy, being able to add new stuff to canon and new stuff to Star Wars. It's like, you know, it's a great honor to be able to do that. So I'm excited to see new stuff too. I think that's beautiful about what they do and about what Disney does as well. And I, I was able to see that also on set because we, we had like fans with us in the battle, like the real fans battling with us. So that was so beautiful. You know, I think it's really starting to hit me. It's been a crazy day. And so I think it's the perfect time to sit down and um, let the people have it, let the people have it. Yeah, it's been wild. A lot of talking, a lot of moving parts, um, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of love. Um, and I'm so, I'm so excited that I got to be here to experience this in person. I'm just excited for everyone to see it. I mean, they heard John Williams do the theme this morning. So that was really incredible to be there for that as well. I got to meet John um, for the first time and we, I went into his dressing room and it was like meeting the Pope for me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, he's so lovely and, and it's been just a joy to work on this show with his music as well. There's some moments, really emotional moments in episode one and there's the introduction of these heritage characters and there's a new twist on their themes. So yeah, I'm excited for people to see that and, and like expand the themes and yeah, expand the world. Oh, it's nice. I was on the other side. You know, I, uh, I'm still kind of freaking out a little bit that I get to be a part of this. Uh, my character hasn't been released yet and I just can't wait to talk to people about it. But uh, it's a good, it's a dream come true. Man, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. This is my first one. Um, definitely won't be my last one. Uh, I got to see John Williams. You know, I got to see John Williams with his orchestra. Uh, I got to see Han come out and talk to John Williams, you know, my man Harrison Ford. So uh, this is a great thing. And, and in the film industry, uh, performers, directors, like producers, we're nothing without the fans. You know, you have to have the people care about you. And to have a day to give back is something that not a lot of film franchises get to do. We're about to see this long-awaited magical chapter in the Star Wars um, universe. I'm as excited as anyone else. I haven't seen a frame of this except for the trailers. And so I want this to begin as much as anyone else. <laughs> For me, seeing this with the fans is an experience that you can't replicate. I will never have again. These are the people we make this for. We're getting to see it with them in real time, experience it with them. And that's a ultimately completely unique experience that I'll never forget. The highlights have been all about the fans. The response has been overwhelming. The energy is extraordinary. The love, the passion, the shout outs, the whoops, the, every bit of it, it's just like people that are actually enjoying what they're doing. And I just feel like in this day and age, when a group of people get together to enjoy something, Amen. It's been so long ago and it's so secretive and we've seen such bits and pieces and I mean and it's Star Wars. To me this is the joy of movies. When you get to hear people around you and laugh with them and feel the energy, it's a totally different thing. This fan base is so so special and that these people know everything about Star Wars way more than I do, but I'm so lucky that I've been able to be a part of this and I think we're all in for a really really special treat. This is the ultimate way to say thank you and let them in on something that's so, so deeply special. I haven't even seen it myself, you know, and I've, I've worked on it. So that these people are seeing it in real time with us all just shows such love and respect for the fan base of Star Wars, but also the fact that this is their passion and I'm so excited to be a part of that. I got to stand between Ewan and Hayden after they came out and said, you know, we're back. I don't know how it gets better than that. Getting to basically host with Kathleen Kennedy the whole time, Harrison Ford, uh, Mr. Williams, hey guys! Mr. Williams and celebrating his 90th birthday. Like, I could just list everything. Diego Luna and all the new shows, Willow coming back. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's all so great. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.